topic today is rectilinear motion. Rectilinear motion is defined as the movement of an object along a straight path. Now, these symbols are used to describe rectilinear motion, to solve simple problems concerning rectilinear motion. These are the symbols used to solve simple problems in rectilinear motion. Small letter S represents speed. The capital letter S represents the distance traveled, the distance covered. C is the time taken. Capital letter D is displacement. The small letter U is initial velocity or velocity in the beginning. Small letter V is the final velocity or velocity at the end of motion. And A is the acceleration of the particle. Let's start by defining speed, define velocity, and define acceleration. Speed is defined as the rate of change of distance with time, or you define it as the time rate of change of distance. If you define speed as the rate of change of distance, that is very wrong. You have to specify the rate at which the distance is changing, and the rate is with respect to time. So speed is defined as the change in distance divided by the time taken. Okay, what's the symbol for change in distance? Delta S. Capital letter S represents distance. Delta C. That is change in distance divided by change in time. Okay? Distance divided by time. Take note that capital letter S represents distance. And the small letter S represents speed. Distance, capital letter, speed, small letter. Let's take some examples on this. Our first example, a bus covers a distance of 80 meters in 5 seconds. Calculate its average speed. How would you solve it? The formula for solving speed is changing distance divided by changing time. So you write speed is equals to change in distance divided by change in time. Small letter S represents speed and capital letter S represents distance. So is the speed is the distance changing? We're not giving the initial position. So you don't have to calculate the change in distance. Let's go straight to the formula. Speed is equals to total distance covered divided by time taken. Capital letter S represents distance. The small letter T represents time. What's distance covered? Take note that if you are solving a problem, the first thing you do is to state its formula. You don't just go straight to solving the problem. Now let's go on. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. What's the distance? The bus covers a distance of 80 meters. The distance is 80 meters. You don't have to state the unit. Why sorry? In five seconds. The time is five seconds. 80 divided by five. That is 16 meters per second. Take note that if you are solving a problem in physics, the first thing you do is to state the formula. The formula alone ends you one mark. Also, your answer you must state the SI unit in front of your answer, meters per second. The answer is one mark, while the calculation takes the other mark. So if it's for five marks, three marks go to your calculation. One mark goes to your formula, one mark goes to your answer. And the question is for three marks, one mark goes to your formula, one mark goes to your answer, and one mark goes to your calculation. So if you have solved this without stating your formula, you've lost one mark. That's another thing that distinguishes a student that gets an A from a student that gets a B. So, this is the solution. Let's take the next example. A bus traveling away from the Asso Rock 
was at a distance of 110 meters from the Astro Rock at 8 a.m. Calculate the average speed of the bus if it has a distance of 220 meters from the Astro Rock at 8.50 a.m. How would you solve this? You are calculating the average speed. What's the formula for speed? Speed is equal to change in distance divided by change in time. Take note that small letter S represents speed and the capital letter S represents distance. What is the change in distance? The change in distance is equal to Initially, it was at a distance of 110 meters from the asphalt. Okay, now this is what happened. Let's assume this is the asphalt rock. Now, the boss was at this position, 100 meters away from the asphalt rock at 8 a.m. At 8.50 a.m., it was at this position. 220 meters away from the Asso Rock. Initially, it was at a distance of 100 meters from the Asso Rock. 100 meters. And at the end, 220 meters away from the Asso Rock. What's the change in distance? That's just from here to here. That's the actual distance covered. And that will be 220 minus 100. That will give you the change in distance. Let me solve this here. So our change in distance is equal to 220 meters minus 100 meters. That will give you 120 meters. Our change in time is what? 8.50 a.m. minus 8 a.m. That will give you what? That is 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Now we convert 50 minutes to seconds. Because in physics, we don't use minutes. We use seconds. The unit of time is seconds, not minutes in physics. So, our change in time is equal to 50 minutes when you convert minutes to second, you multiply by what? You multiply by 60. Because 60 seconds make one minute. Converting from minute to second, you multiply by 60. That will give you 3... 3,000 seconds. Now let's calculate our speed. Our speed is changing distance divided by changing time. What is our change in distance? Change in distance is equal to 120 meters. 120 divided by change in time. What is our change in time? Our change in time is 3,000 seconds. 120 divided by 3,000. Zero cancel zero. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 12 divided by 300 is 0. 0.04 meters a second. The bus must be traveling extremely too slow. But that is our answer. So, take note that when you are solving any problem in physics, the first thing you state is your formula. And after that, you go ahead to perform your calculation. And at the end, when you state your answer, you must state the SI unit. You could lose marks for not stating your science, and you could lose marks for not stating your formula. Let's go to the third example. A bike traveling away from the National Theater was at a distance of 60 kilometers from the National Theater at 10.05 a.m. Calculate the average speed of the bike if it has a distance of 180 kilometers away from the National Theater at 10.55 a.m. What are we to calculate? We have to calculate the average speed. What is the formula for speed? The first thing you state is your formula. Speed is equal to change in distance divided by change in time. 
As 10 of 5 a.m., it was at a distance of 60 kilometers away from the National Theater. This is the bus, 60 kilometers away. That's the distance as 10 of 5 a.m. And as 10.55 a.m., it is here. A distance of 180 kilometers away from the Asura. So what is the total distance traveled? It moved from this spot to this spot. So the total distance traveled is just this. That's 180 kilometers minus 60 kilometers. And that's 120 kilometers. In physics, we don't use kilometers as the SI unit of distance. The SI unit of distance is meters. So we have to convert from kilometers to meter by multiplying by what? 1000. Why? Because 1000 meters make one kilometer. So our change in distance, our change in distance is 120 kilometer multiplied by 1000 to change it to meter. And that's equals to 120,000 meters. That's our change in distance. What about our change in time? Our change in time is equals to 10.55 a.m. minus 10.05 a.m. Minus 10.05. That is 50, 50 minutes, 50 minutes, you know, this is hour and this is the minute side of the calculation, 50 minutes. In physics, we don't use minutes as the SI unit of time. The SI unit of time is second, so you convert from minute to second by multiplying by 60. Why? Because 60 seconds make one minute. So our change in time is 50 multiplied by 60. That is 3,000 seconds. That is the unit of time. Now we can calculate our speed. Our average speed. Speed is change in distance divided by change in time. What's our change in distance? 120,000 meters. We put that here. What's our change in time? 3,000 seconds. That will be the denominator. Our numerator is our change in distance, more than 20,000. Our denominator is our change in time, 3,000 seconds. So speed is 120,000 divided by 3,000. And that will be equal to 40 meters per second, or you write it as meter second to the power minus one. Perfect. A car traveled at a constant speed of 12 meters per second for two hours. Calculate the total distance traveled by the car during these two hours. Why you speaking to him? Oh, you the Lagos to him. If I carry you go banana, my guy, you go love Lagos.